The final concept in Lesson 3.3 is how to apply the change of base formula. The change of base formula is, is needed and is required because in our calculator we only have two bases. One is a base 10, one is a base E. We have our natural logarithm, which is a base E. We have a common logarithm, which is base 10. So if they give us a problem where they're asking us to evaluate the log of base 3 of 5, we don't have a base 3 logarithm in our calculator, nor are there any shortcuts to get to that. So what we need to know is a change of base formula. The change of base formula is written here. It says if you have a log of base B, and this base B is not a convenient one, it's not a base 10 or a base E, what you can do is you can rewrite it as a log of base A of X, log of base A of B. Or A, in our instances, are going to be base 10 and base E. Those are the bases that we're going to want to convert them into because those are the bases that we have on our calculator. We have a log of base 10. We have a log of base E. So I'm going to apply that to this problem over here. It says log of base 3 of 5. In this example, what we're trying to figure out is what is the exponent I raise 3 to to get 5. And so that's really what we're thinking about. We can't really problem solve that mentally because there's, there's a decimal approximation in that it's going to be the correct result. So what we have to do is we have to solve this with the idea is a logarithm. So this is a little bit beyond what they're asked to do, but this is, instead of uh, proving that change of base formula, it's going to show you how it can be applied. Now, whenever we solve exponential equations, and this is an exponential equation because x is in the exponent, we have to undo an exponent. Now, we're studying logarithms because logarithms are the inverses of exponents. So what we do is we take the logarithm of both sides. I'm going to use the common log of 3 to the x equals the common log of 5. Now, the reason I chose a logarithm is logarithms will undo or are the inverses of exp exponents or exponentials. We're going to apply on this side over here our power rule. The log of the power is the power times the log. So on the left side will be x times the log of 3 equals log of 5. Now, in order to get x by itself, I want to divide both sides by the log of 3, and you have a log of, common log of 5 all over the common log of 3. Now this, in a nutshell, is the change of base formula. If you look at how this is supposed to be applied, it says, take a log of an inconvenient base, such as log of base 3 of 5. You can find out what that exponent is if you convert into a more convenient base. In this case, I chose a common log. And it says you take the common log of x, so I took the common log of 5 all over the common log of the base, which is 3. So the common log of 5 all over the common log of 3 is the change of base formula. The nice thing about this is the bottom number, the base, always goes on the bottom of your fraction, and the log of the top number always goes on the top number of your fraction. So what we'll do is we'll run a calculation on our calculator to figure out what that number is, and that'll be our decimal approximation for this. And I'll bypass the update for right now. On, we don't have a log of base 3, so we're going to apply our change of base formula, and I chose the common log. I can take the common log of 5, and I can divide it by the common log of 3, and we'll get the approximate answer well, that we can raise 3 to to get 5, and I'll show you that that will work as well. We can take 3, and we can raise it to this power, which is on our answer, and that should give us exactly 5. So even though our calculator is only equipped with two bases, we got the base 10. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to let me do that. There, maybe it's going to. A base 10, not going to do it, and a base E. So either one. So what I want to show you in this follow-up is the selection of common log was immaterial. We have two that we can use. Both of them will get us the right answer. So I'm going to rework this one more time. I can undo exponents with logarithms, but this time I'm going to take the natural log of 3 to the x. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So we're taking the natural log property of equality, so the natural log of 5. We're going to use our power rule. The log of a power is the power times the log, so it's x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 5. Then to get rid of multiplying by the natural log of 3, we divide both sides by the natural log of 3, which says this can also be used to find the exponent you raise 3 to to get 5. So just to show you this, it will work no matter which one you use. I'll clear out the calculator. We can take the natural log of 5 and then divide it by the natural log of 3. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the exponent we raise 3 to to get 5. Now, this gives us a different result. It's a different 1.46 because we're using a different base. But if I take 
e, I'm sorry, if I take 3 and raise it to the exponent that that calculation gave us, it should give us 5 again. So we have some versatility here. We have choices. We can either use a change of base formula, which will allow us to use a base 10, or we can use the natural logarithm, which allows us to use a base e. So in our examples here, we have a log of base 78. That's an inconvenient base. It's not one we have in a calculator. So we apply the change of base formula. To do this, we take the common log of 4,212 divided by the common log of 78. That will give us the exponent that we need to raise 78 to to get 4,000. On 4,000, lost track of my number, 212. So we'll take the common log of 4,212. And we'll divide it by the common log of 78, parentheses, equals. And this should be the exponent we raise 78 to to get 400, 200, or 4,212. So we're going to take 78, we're going to raise it to the answer, and 4,212. And keep in mind, there's no difference. If you wanted to use the natural log, you can do the natural log of the top number, 4,212, divided by the natural log of 78. This will be the exponent you raise, uh, 78 to, to get 4,212. And again, I can do 78 raised to that power. And it's the same thing we had before. Uh, so you can see that pretty evident that we'll get the same answer. So change the base formula. And our answer is approximately 1.92. And that will be an approximation. Um, next one, an inconvenient base of 15. So this time I'm going to go the natural log of 33. Natural log of the top thing all over the natural log of the bottom thing. Natural log of 15. Run the calculation. It'll tell us the exponent we raised 15 to to get 33. So x is going to equal. And we'll apply the change of base formula. We'll run it through our calculator. Natural log of 33 divided by the natural log of 15, enter, and we get 1.29 approximately. Again, we were trying to find the exponent you raised 15 to to get 33. We found it. I'm just going to verify that that was, oh, we didn't get the exponent in there. Raised to the exponent of our answer. That better give us 33, and it does. So approximately 1.29. A change of base formula is pretty simple. As you can see, there is no reason for the, the engineers, the designers of the calculator to give you multiple bases for logarithms because a change of base formula makes it very, very versatile. And finally, it doesn't matter. We're trying to find that exponent. Use a change of base formula. Take the, in this case, I'll use natural log again, natural log 10 divided by the natural log of the bottom or the base of that logarithm, which is one third. That should give us the exponent we need to raise one third to get 10. So we're going to be relying on our calculator on, on those types of problems. So it's going to be the natural log of 10 divided by the natural log of 1 third. Just got to be careful when you enter this. Um, I guess there shouldn't be too many problems here because that's just a 1 third argument. Enter. So we've got to raise 1 third to the negative 2.095. So I guess if we run it like we did the others to the nearest hundredth, it'll be a negative 2.1, so x is approximately approximately a negative 2.1. Just to come back and show you, we were trying to find the exponent to raise one third two to get 10. So now if I take the base, which is one third, so one divided by three, and we raise it to the exponent of what we just found, we should get 10, and that is a demonstration of how that works. So change of base formula, relatively easy to use, shows you the versatility of the natural logarithm and common logarithm that can be used to find the logarithm of any base, which they term an inconvenient base, which is kind of a nice way of describing it. It's not very convenient, but we can get a workaround, and that is by using a change of base formula.